Caroline, when you spoke, uh, what was the room like? Do they hang on every word that Mr. Coombe has to say? Tom, there was a cheer when he came to the stage. Everyone was so excited to hear from who is the man of the moment, the new addition to the billionaire's row in technology, of course, Jan Coombe, chief executive and co-founder of WhatsApp. Very humble guy, Tom, overall. I mean, my first question to him was, look, this is, WhatsApp was really born from his own personal upbringing in the Ukraine is where he was brought up, where there was very little privacy in terms of phone calls and also very hard to connect abroad. He wanted to make it cheap. He wanted to make it available. Right. And that's, he said, I'm amazed, 465 million users, nearly half a billion, Tom. He says he still can't get over well, it. Well, Caroline, when we look at this technology, of course, it's much more international, much more your London or Barcelona or around the world. Can they make WhatsApp a domestic success? in the United States. Well, he wants it. he's very much pioneering the emerging markets, actually. They're doing very little television. In fact, they're, they're not doing it with any of the main television processors here in the United... for the UK, for Europe, for the United States. Their main focus, it's Turkey, it's Indonesia, it's India. They want to grow their bases in the emerging markets. That is where they're focused at the moment. So they're continuing to grow. They focus, of course, on getting on every single smartphone. So, of course, they want US to be a big win as well because the US is obviously dominant in terms of the smartphone market. But what was really interesting was in the panel, when I was talking to him, he made this new announcement. It's not just going to be messages, Tom. It's going to be calls as well. They are going to provide free phone calls via WhatsApp. So using the Internet, that, of course, is going to come as a major blow to mobile operators. But they said, look, we were expecting it. We know that the move is to data for the mobile providers and the app developers are just going to crowd in on the space for Caroline. free messaging and for free calls. So yet another announcement. Well, Caroline, to call it free, I suppose, is, is, is headline grabbing, but WhatsApp uh, at its heart is not free. It's 99 cents a year. Is there going to be some incremental amount uh, on top of 99 cents a year in order to provide phones? No, nope, they say they're sticking to the policy that is 99 cents a year after you've had it free for 12 months. He also was very keen to tell me, Jan Kuhn, that nothing is going to change under Facebook. They are going to remain very much still a startup at heart. Remember, this is a company that only has, well, just over 50 employees. They might scale that up to about right. 150, but they say they're going to resolutely remain independent from Mark Zuckerberg.